What's up guys, NBA Talk with another thing to talk about before Game 3 of the NBA Finals that goes down tonight. Um, a situation that's been going on for quite a while, but it's really detailed today from a lot of uh, ESPN um, News, Sports Center, First Take, um, probably Undisputed too as well, I have to check that on YouTube. Um, a growing situation on the term super teams. People forming super teams, of course, we look at that. We look at KD. Kevin Durant, last year in the offseason, joining the Golden State Warriors to form a super team, a team that is already established. Um, he joined the team to in order to beat LeBron James, in order to get to the NBA Finals, and looking like, is looking like he's going to accomplish that goal. Um, so, the situation is talked about is the what paved the way into what what is now is people just taking the easier road and joining other teams, joining other stars, other superstars in order to become a more powerful team. In order to uh, to get over obstacles that you couldn't do it by yourself. So people have looked upon LeBron James. Kevin Durant has stated that LeBron James was the guy that paid the way for everybody else. Not necessarily that, in my opinion. There, there's evidence that people have done this already. When we look at LeBron James, what he did was he joined two superstars... Uh, two stars at least. Well, Chris Boss is definitely an all-star at the time. He joined the Miami Heat that very same year. Um, Dwayne Wade, a superstar, a already a champion, a guy who's already won it all already, who knows how to do it. They had a general manager in Pat Riley who has won championships for years. One of the most decorated championship coaches, GMs of all time now. Um, so he goes join them to learn how to win. And that's what he did. And he came right back to Cleveland to win a championship on his own. Well, Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love to include. Um, a lot of people, Kevin Durant is looking at that as a way of paying the way of him having to join other guys, other people in order to to get over humps that you couldn't do it before. Um, let's see. Um, I'm trying to figure out what to say here about this. I would, I definitely agree to a good degree um, on Kevin Durant saying that it paid the way because you have to really look at it. A lot, a couple others people have been doing this. For instance, Lamarcus Aldridge. He was in a, I think it was a 50, uh, 50 win game, a 50 win team in Portland. LaMarcus Aldridge with Damian Leonard, Nicholas Batum, uh, Wesley Matthews. They were doing some good work. They were getting to the semifinals, but they just couldn't get over the hump. Uh, whether it was, I think, either San Antonio, what did he do? He joined San Antonio Spurs. He let everybody know he was leaving. And he went straight to San Antonio to join the Spurs. Kawhi Leonard, who's already won a championship uh, with um, Tim Duncan, Ginobili, T Tony Parker. People who know how to win championships. Popovich, who knows how to win championships. Ray Allen. And it's funny enough, it connects to another thing. Uh, Ray Allen leaves the Boston Celtics to join the Miami Heat after the Miami Heat won their first championship uh, with LeBron James' first championship, uh, that would be in 2012. He joins that team, leaving his uh, big three, um, Paul Pierce, Kev uh, Kevin Garnett. He joins LeBron James to win another gold um, championship. Everybody cooked him for that. He hasn't been the same ever since he left uh, Boston. And it connects to the Boston Celtics because Kevin Garnett was... Um, recruited into joining the super team, uh, joining Paul Pierce, and then they got Ray Allen, Kevin Garnett going to the conference, uh, conference finals at one point, 
couldn't get over the hump. So he decides to go to Boston to form a big three. And then he had Ray Allen and a couple others too. They they won a championship. They beat the LA Lakers with Kobe Bryant. Um, and funny enough, Kobe Bryant, he couldn't win over the hump ever since ever since Shaquille O'Neal left, they couldn't do anything until they got Paul Gasol and they got Lamar Odom down there too. Um, and even after they won the first championship over Orlando, guess who came along? Ron Ortiz at the time, Metal War Peace, but at the time, Ron Ortiz came to LA to win a championship. He did exactly that. And then we have to go all the way back into the 90s. Charles Barkley, if he ever opens his mouth about joining super teams and he ran, he runs his mouth about KD, he needs to shut up because he did exactly that. He joined the Houston Rockets after years in Phoenix. He went to Houston to join uh, the Dream, um, Hakeem Olajuwon, uh, to make an even more powerful team, but they couldn't get over the hump. He has no right to say anything at all if he ever says that. There's evidence all around. LeBron James, probably the, the guy who really brought up the conversation about joining other players but Kevin Durant took it to the next level, joined a team that's already established, um, really popularized it. Charles Barkley did it first. Well, maybe there's people who actually did it before him, but he definitely did it. But it was not that controversial as this, seeing that the internet, anything that is heated, is going to is going to be fire like hellfire. So there's a lot of evidence um, uh, in the past. Where Kevin Durant situation has happened before. And I'm not defending Kevin Durant. But in this situation, it's starting to become a habit. People are starting to do that. Um, and I have to blame the GMs. You have to blame the GMs. You have to blame the office. Because like I said in a previous video, loyalty does not get rewarded for players. They don't get rewarded. The uh, DeMarcus Cousins doesn't get rewarded. Carmelo Anthony does not get rewarded in New York. Our front office screws up every time. After all these years, you would think the Sacramento Kings would make it back into the uh, playoffs. They have not. You would think the New York Knicks would find back their glory. We had a 54-game win season a couple years ago. We had a formula. We had Mike Woodson as a head coach. He was doing some, He was doing some work. We had veteran help, but we, we af, after that, it was done. Like, everything was dismantled. No recovery, no nothing. So you have to ask yourself, like, like this was warranted. This, this was bound to happen because the habit, the um, people are just noticing a pattern where success is gained after people just pretty much sell out in... In people's view, people who sell out, they 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 win championships. They win championships, and I guarantee you this. After this, if Kevin Durant wins a championship, I guarantee you this: there are going to be people doing the exact same thing. People are going to form super teams. People are going to form super teams. It, it's, it's going to be a habit. They're going to have to counteract. Um, uh, the Golden State Warriors somehow they want to get there quick, so you're gonna see things happening like that. Um, so that's just my point of view. In the future, we're gonna start seeing more super teams. You're gonna see stars come together, even though they have to betray the team that they're on after so many years. You have Damian Lillard saying that I'm sticking around. We don't know if he's gonna be succeed. He's gonna be success or not. Uh, because he keeps getting bounced out at the first round, second round, you know. We'll see, man. And you'll see Carmelo Anthony. He's getting kicked out the door for joining the state. He's trying to stay. He's trying to stay in New York, and he's getting kicked out the door. You have DeMarcus Aldridge. I mean, DeMarcus Cousins wanting to stay in Sacramento to continue with this team. Gets kicked out. 
No rewards for loyalty. It's a habit. We need the GMs needs to hurry up and do things, man. Or else it's going to happen more often. So I'm gonna leave that for you guys to to think about. Peace.